Hey guys, Catcom here with Studio Sweat On Demand, and I have my extra special guest with me, Miss Miriam, registered dietitian, also known as MJ. Hey guys, and um, you know what we're here to talk about? Gluten. 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 So I wanted Miriam asked to um, answer a question that we get asked all the time, and that I think that there's a lot of mystery around and a lot of misconceptions around. Um, and Huge. so. I have for you, Miriam. Is gluten-free? Is a gluten-free product always going to be a healthy product? Great question. The answer is no. So let me tell you why. So if you pick something naturally occurring that's gluten-free, you know, like if you did beans and some low-fat dairy and healthy fats and lean proteins, um, that that's healthy and that can be naturally gluten-free. When you are replacing some whole grain options for some refined gluten-free options, that's when you get into a whole other unhealthy realm. Like what? So that, that's what happens a lot. So chips, baked goods, um, breads, and pastas, and cereals. Um, so just because they say gluten-free doesn't mean their diet or fat-free or... Right. Um, so you're getting into more refined. What ends up happening, a lot of the gluten-free products ends up being refined. Okay. So what that means is they take out the intact part of the grain uh -huh. and then they just kind of put fillers in and they, they make it tasty. They don't have a lot of options when you do gluten-free grains. Um, so gluten grains are wheat, barley, and rye. Okay. And those are pretty abundant for us in our food supply. So you would have to do, if you wanted to go healthy gluten-free with grains, you'd have to do like quinoa. Um, yeah, so what are some good options? Because people are yeah. so on this gluten-free kit. And I'm not advocating gluten-free for everyone. As a matter of fact, yeah. I'm a strong believer in grains, and I know that Miriam is as well. Unless you have a true allergy to gluten and that's being diagnosed, um, then there are really so many good reasons to stay eating gluten products. So absolutely. Um, by the way, I want gluten in my products, and I'll tell you why. They make me feel fuller, longer. It has protein and it has fiber in it. So and your digestive system really needs that. Yeah. So it, gluten happens to be. And what is it? So gluten is yes, a I was at your chest. It's protein. Sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, thank you for enjoying that. Um, <laughs> so gluten means protein. Okay. Gluten is a protein. So it's the only indigestible protein that we have. Why it can be sort of a problem for people who have small intestine and villi problems inside of their gut. Okay. So why do we want to like push away a protein? I don't know, it became a fad somehow. I don't know how it came about. Um, so my point being is, I want gluten in my grains. I know that it's gonna keep me full and it's gonna be more of an intact grain. Um, if you have an intolerance, you probably will know. And if you have celiac, you will know. Yeah. If you will know, you will get pretty ill. So you'll have a lot of... And doctors um, have become really good at catching that, yes. diagnosing that properly. Yes. There is a blood test, mm -hmm. and you would have to do kind of like a food journal also to figure out, you know, what's causing... Because it could be meat, it could be something else too. So if you're celiac, I do want you to stay away from gluten. Yeah, absolutely. there's reasons for that, for your sure. Your immune system will get crazy, and you will damage your small intestine. So active in here. So if you're wondering, just look at this, it's like, wow, what an active area. They're like testing a microphone behind us right now. Yeah, okay. Anything else that you want to add? Because I guess one of the things that I wanted to ask you, and I do want you to add is, if I am wanting to try this gluten-free kit, yeah. what are food sources that I really should go after? Okay. Instead so, of just buying a package that says gluten-free, don't buy it. Like literally, don't buy it right here. Yeah. So I want you to eat those foods I was talking about that are naturally gluten-free, which is the beans, mm -hmm. um, low-fat dairy if you do dairy, and lean proteins, lean cuts of proteins, um, fruits and vegetables galore. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you are going to do grains, um, to pick gluten-free durum flour, farina, gram, cama, semolina, and spelt. Um, those are all like wheat infused grains, so you want to be careful. 
the gluten-free certified grains. She's passionate now. I know. She's like amaranth, buckwheat, flax, millet, quinoa, soy, tapioca, tap. Those are some examples. Um, but I want you to keep your foods more naturally derived. Real, yeah, real food. Don't just grab something. So don't go. I'm gonna, that. I'm gonna gluten-free yeah. pasta, gluten-free bread, gluten because there's a whole aisle at the grocery store for gluten-free now, and people think, oh, healthy aisle. Yes, not necessarily. Not true. Friends. Even yeah. gluten-free meals at restaurants. Uh -huh. Typically yeah, not careful. healthy. Careful. Typically not healthy. All right. So I think that uh, I hope that really clears up the mystery for a lot of people. And I want to thank you for um, being such an expert in this area. It's and um, my pleasure. Let's add to our nutrition and check out those body sculpting, fat torching workouts available at Studio Sweat on Demand.